Hello, my name is Metin Aradacher. This is 15th video of explanation of my theory. Today I will mention a new constant to gift from me to contemporary physics. I will talk about it and I will start now. And I will mention a formula about this which I put forth. My formula. Directly, this is my formula. Lambda n minus delta lambda equal to 1227 divided by voltage. nanometer. This is the constant that I give as a gift to contemporary physics theories. Lambda n minus delta lambda multiplied by electric potential is 1227 nanometer volt. This is the constant. Which context we put in? Of course, this is concerned with relocating free electron motion forms, waves, variable wavelengths. And concern with applying voltage to this electron motion form to make it gain velocity. Continuous X-ray spectrums are important and their graphs are important data for us for applying my theories and my formulas. On that data, data. Wavelength, yes, greater. (laughs) 
continuous spectrum graphs. Different. Someone starts from two angstrom here, wavelength, intensity or energy, don't forget please, wavelength, intensity, intensity, wavelength, wavelength, intensity, wavelength, intensity, yes. One of these graphs start, starts 0 0.1 nanometer. One of that starts 1.2, for example. Another one, 1 0. 22 nanometer. So important. One of that starts 0 0.06 nanometer. I hope you see. One of that starts 1.6. Okay. We will apply uh, voltages to that free electron motion forms, I say. Because of, because of all X-rays continuum spectrums, according to my theory, represents represent relocating free electron motion forms, success C waves variability, constant frequency. Changing wavelength. I have talked about talked about that before. <clears throat> so for this, if we apply now ten kiwi. shape like this and then here zero point one two two seven nanometer. Remember, here 90 degree, according to my theory, here 0 degree. Two angstrom or 0 0.2 nanometer is lambda m, and this 0 0.1227 is lambda n minus delta lambda for 10 kV. 10,000 kilovolt. 
for 20 QV, we will is like this zero point zero sixty one thirty five nanometer. Okay. Like this, here it starts zero point two nanometer lambda n. But lambda n minus delta lambda is equal to 0.1227, okay. This is lambda n, another one. According to my theory, it represents lambda n initial wavelength of a kind of free electron motion form. Don't forget, there are different quantitative kinds of electron motion forms have different frequencies and different initial wavelengths and different touching energies. Different. There are different in universe free electron motion forms. This one, its radius or initial wavelength is lambda n, normal lambda, initial wavelength here, 0 0.1 nanometer. This one's 0 0.2 nanometer. Bigger than this. Different. It has different quantity. Okay. Here, one point two angstrom or zero point twelve nanometer. Different. Bigger than this, smaller than this. <coughs> if we apply these different wavelength free electron motion forms voltage to make them gain velocity, what will happen? Now, 10 kV. When we apply this 10 kV voltage, it's lambda minus delta lambda will be equal 0. Point 1227 will be same. Remember, we apply this 0 0.2 initial wavelength free electron motion from 10 kV voltage. We applied that, and this is re this was result. Lambda n minus delta lambda is equal to zero. Point twelve twenty seven. Here, smaller wavelength free electron motion form. According to my theory, in universe, different frequent, different, uh, different wavelengths, different frequencies different uh, initial wavelengths, different touch energies, uh, free electrons there are. Okay. I don't 
uh, won't confuse your mind now. But this is smaller electron motion form than this, but same. Its response to same applied voltage is same. 20 kV. <coughs> <coughs> I beg your pardon. When we apply the 20 kV, say 0 0.06135 nanometer. For this, will be same results. So interesting. I investigate most of X-ray graphs and I think of that and I put forth my formulas and constant about this. Okay. For thirty. Okay, zero point zero four hundred nine nanometer. Same. Same. For different electron motion forms, if we apply same quantity voltage to make them to make them gain velocity, what will happen? Their responses to same applied voltage Applied voltage greater velocity. Relatively this response <laughs> smaller velocity, but in the direction of zero degree, only for zero degree, not another lambda minus delta lambda lambda normal and lambda second electron minus delta lambda 2 will be equal say on this point, this wavelength, shortened wavelength quantity 
will be equal only in direction of zero degree and only in this point of waves touching energy will be same only this point not the, this not this not this okay this is the rule these are my formulas frequency equal to c divided by lambda this is for not relocating electron motion for frequency but while relocating and while changing its wavelengths relatively to its velocity and direction its frequency, frequency stays constant, we know, according to my theory and my formulas. Equal to This is, this is for a certain wavelength free electron motion form relationship. My formula relationship. Don't confuse a moment ago what I told. Now, Put aside now. This is a certain wavelength pre electron motion form. Okay. Because of from here, I will explain my constant and my which formula lambda n minus delta lambda equal to divided by voltage what what is relationships between them okay now I'm telling you yeah here Here, free electron motion form freely. It is not relocating, but without relocating, freely in all direction, produce and propagate same wavelength. Okay. For this, this is the formula. But if a certain V1 velocity same wavelength okay start to relocating this is the formula and same free electron motion form yeah, we apply no applied no there is no applied to make it gain velocity no applied voltage or temperature we say okay but don't confuse forget temperature formula is different okay no voltage we say only voltage Here, 
So, ten keV we applied to same electron motion for. Okay. It's it gains we e one velocity. And here, shorter wavelength, lambda n minus delta lambda, will be zero point twelve twenty cell. Okay. Say forty kV, same. Electron motion form, we applied 40 kV. It's lambda n minus delta lambda will be 0 0.0. .0 30, 67 and 5 nanometer ok it's V2 we say ok now C minus V2 divided by lambda n minus delta lambda 2 will be equal will be equal will be equal okay same frequency because of shorter wavelength short shortened wavelength in this velocity this velocity higher than this okay we can compute according to my theory, we can compute the velocities from X-rays graphs. Okay. This relationship is so important. Don't forget, please. Now, again, frequency equal to C divided by lambda, C minus lambda n minus delta lambda 1 equal to C minus divided by Same lambda, same electron motion for same uh, radius, same wavelength, initial wavelength, electron motion form applied different uh, voltages. Would not no applied applying voltage. Okay. Free electron motion form here, freely in all directions, same wavelength, but here change. Okay. Remember, this is zero degree, ninety degree, lambda n. Say lambda n. Here we apply some quantity voltage and lambda and minus delta lambda. Okay. If voltage 1, 10 kV here, voltage 2, 20 kV here, smaller wavelength, lambda and minus delta lambda because of delta lambda will up okay don't confuse
Okay. Yes. Now. Voltage. Up. If it is so, electron motion forms velocity will up at the same rate. Okay, then delta lambda up. So, so lambda n minus delta lambda will be down and so C minus V E down. Okay. This is relationship. Where is voltage? Here. According to my theory, lambda N minus Delta lambda equal to one thousand two hundred twenty seven divided by voltage. This is my another formula. Concern with this in the context of this, okay. Whether greater wavelength or smaller wavelength, different radiuses, wavelength, different quantity, uh, radius quantity, wavelength, electrons for all different kinds of electrons. We apply same voltage, but results will be same. Will be same. Because they respond this applied voltage different velocities and in the direction of zero degree, only that point, lambda n minus delta lambda, all of them.